A Cape Town woman's dream of buying a house for her family has not only been dashed, but also met with death threats. Um, she's paid cash for an RDP house in 2009. Fifteen years later, the Saleh evicted her and moved in with their children. The Western Cape Housing Department, meanwhile, is warning against the selling of government houses and fake housing scams. Ian Sears Novisutu Hejana reports. <laughs> Low end tanks say in Uichilo in Dogobana Gomlomo in Doba. If I value my family, I should move out because Econ in Dresa Gwenzek. Sally Wedlula says she is currently staying in an area she fears disclosing due to safety concerns. For 14 years, she had been staying in her dream home in the Capricorn area of Freyhront after buying a house for 22,000 Rand in 2009. She says these documents she signed with the person who sold her the house prove that she followed all the processes required at the time. Then in so, it was a account number for bank transfer email. At a cafuni, Maliza Peka account, yena Ufuna email cash. Lula says in the area she was staying in, she wasn't the only one who bought an RDP house. She has since approached the courts after a protection order she filed for was never delivered to the people who kicked her out of her home. By law, a BNG house beneficiary is allowed to sell their house after eight years, and before selling it privately, the state should be considered first due to the long list of those who need housing. But it appears that no one is following the law because by simply going online and searching for houses, BNGs and government subsidized homes are available. With some going up for sale for 200,000 Rand, Western Cape Infrastructure MEC Tertia Sima says it appears that there is a syndicate. One of the concerns I had was that there's a clear syndicate operating and enriching themselves because how can you draw up papers for what is perceived to be a legitimate transaction, which is actually illegal? Last year, the Provincial Housing Department took the matter to court after locating a person who sold their house soon after receiving it. And the department now says it's looking into legal options for a more permanent solution. And I have engaged the National Minister on A, that we actually need to address the issue of the preemptive clause. One understands the reason for it, given that the state is seeking to assist individuals that were not afforded ownership pre-1994, but that we perhaps we must start focusing on reducing the preemptive period. Without a title deed or transfer ownership of the house, Lula's only hope is for the courts to recognize a document she and the seller signed and possibly consider the years of occupancy. Nobesutu Cape Town.